Your job is demanding. You're a single mom with lots of responsibilities. You feel like dating is just one huge time suck. As a dating coach for smart, strong, successful women who have everything but the guy, I am quite familiar with women who are too busy to date. And while I'm in no position to tell you that you're not busy, I am here to tell you that there is a simple way to ensure that you have an active love life, even if you work 50 hours a week, and even if you feel like it's impossible. Stick around. I'm Evan Mark Katz, dating coach for smart, strong, successful women and your personal trainer for love. Welcome to the Love You podcast. Keep listening to learn how to date if you're super busy. When we're done, I'll let you know how you could apply to Love You to create a passionate relationship that makes you feel safe, heard, and understood. So you're a busy woman. There's no denying it, not trying to talk you out of it, not trying to minimize the life that you've built for yourself. And I'm not going to stand here and tell you that you should quit your day job to find love, that you should stop working out to find love, or you should hire a nanny to take care of your kids while you go on Tinder. That is not the point of this video. Everything is possible if you prioritize it and make it important to you. It all depends on what you value most and what's going to get you the most happiness in the long run. So most people stop dating, not just because they don't have time, but because they actually hate dating. Let me know if that rings a bell for you. If working makes you money and working out keeps you fit and reading a book helps you relax, what does dating do except disappoint you and frustrate you and depress you? So it's usually not that there's no time for dating. It's that you have limited time and if you have limited time, you always find something that you like to do better. I get that. But what's the result of that? You take years on gaiatus, a term that I made up, my sister actually made that one up, for taking a break from guys. You go on gaiatus, you fill up your life with more work, more friends, more hobbies, more distractions from the emptiness inside, and one day you look around at your life, maybe during quarantine, and you say, this isn't what I dreamed about. And so all I'm asking you to do today is to be a long-term rather than a short-term thinker. Is it more fun to spend money than to save money? Sure. But if you don't save any money, you'll never be able to retire. Is it more fun to binge watch something on Netflix? Sure. But if you keep doing that for a few hours every night, you are consigning yourself to being alone indefinitely. So here's what I tell women who are in love you when they reach week seven, which is the time that we start to talk about online dating. It's really simple. I'm giving it to you for free. Go to your calendar, mark off a half hour every day for online dating like an appointment. That's it. Doesn't matter if it's in the morning, if it's at lunch, if it's right before you go to bed. What matters is that you're creating a dating practice, the same as you have a morning routine or a nighttime routine or a workout routine or a meditation practice. You don't miss your big team meeting at work on Mondays and you don't miss uh, an appointment with your OBGYN once a year. Then don't miss your appointment with the place that you're going to go meet your future husband. It's an appointment. It's important. And if you can't give love a half hour a day, what that tells me is that you don't want it bad enough to find love and that you're perfectly content being alone because it's easier, which is okay. But if you're willing to give love a half hour a day, the same way you give work 10 hours a day, right, you are poised to transform your love life with consistency. Now, if you're, if you're saying, okay, I'm willing to give that time, but I don't know what to do, well, that's what Love You is for. I'm Evan Mark Katz. Thank you for tuning into the Love You podcast. For more episodes like this on YouTube, click on the subscribe button, ring the bell, and choose all to ensure you get notified whenever new content comes out. If you're listening on the audio podcast, please share an honest review on Apple. More reviews equals more awareness of the Love You podcast and more love in the world. And if you want to find love right now and are committed to making healthier choices with men so you can have an easy relationship that makes you feel safe, heard, and understood, look for the link below and apply for coaching with me in Love You. I'll talk to you soon.